This might be just about the worst supercharging experience I've ever had. So in this video, I'm going to kind of highlight my experience at the Nepean supercharger just outside of Ottawa. Uh, there are eight stalls. There are the version three, so 250 kilowatt. Um, but it seems like eight are not enough. And if you look at the map, it seems like this location is kind of the only one uh, in the Ottawa area. Of course, there is the Rito Center Superchargers, which I've already made a video at, but they are the urban superchargers. So they are, I believe it's 72 kilowatt. Um, so about half as fast as the even version twos at 150. So I'm kind of going to discount that one. So if you look at the map, really, this is the only supercharging location in the area. If you've been following my channel for some time now, you'd know that the first time that I ever supercharged was a little over seven years ago. So I've been frequenting superchargers for about the past seven years, of course, not uh, all that often because I've only uh, owned a Tesla for about the past three years. Um, but with my experience at Evoto Rentals, um, the Tesla rental company, I would often uh, find myself supercharging vehicles, whether it be on a road trip to Toronto to drop a, a car off for a client um, or just in and around the city because Montreal, there are plenty of superchargers uh, in and around the island. Anyway, so for this particular case, I was on my way to Ottawa. Of course, I set the supercharger as a destination, so it was able to preheat. Um, but it, uh, a warning came up that uh, there is a about 20 minute wait uh, for the supercharger uh, and that there was one stall that was out of order. Then I got another warning uh, suggesting that I should try and find a, a different supercharger because this one is pretty busy. Well, as I kind of just mentioned, this one is the only one in the area. And sure enough, as I pull up to the supercharger, there are eight stalls and I see seven are occupied, of course, because one C is out of order. So they're they're full. Now, luckily there was no one in front of me, so I didn't have to wait that long. I didn't have to wait 10, 20 minutes. In fact, it was about six minutes until I was able to plug in. But as I sat there waiting and waiting, I, I got to admire the, uh, the beautiful shops around. So it's in the parking lot of a Canadian tire and we're kind of in this industrial park. So there's a whole bunch of hotels and McDonald's and, and you know, just random shops like that. Once I plugged in, uh, I was able to see kind of the state of the supercharger or the uh, all the grime and filth around it. And I have to say this is the most disgusting supercharger I've ever charged at. And yeah, once I plugged in, it wasn't that bad. Uh, you can see here I was getting 241 kilowatt for a brief second. I did get the warning though, high usage supercharger station. So it, it set my limit to 80%. I didn't stay until 80. Uh, anyways, it was just a quick top up. But nevertheless, uh, if it weren't 10 p.m. and it were maybe rush hour, I could see uh, how the situation would be even worse. Uh, uh, maybe, you know, one or two cars before me. So this could have been maybe a half hour wait. Not ideal. Of course, it was late at night, so nothing was really open. And one thing I found funny was there were signs that said Tesla vehicle charging only. Well, they're going to have to change those signs once uh, other vehicles start charging on these superchargers. Just before I was done charging, there was a perfect timing situation. Uh, there was a Model S who had pulled in right as a Model Y was pulling out. Uh, so that person there didn't have to wait even a minute. Um, but yeah, the, the stalls were still fully booked. Uh, of course, seven out of eight. And as I was leaving, there was two stalls now available. Uh, of course, the one that I left and, and there was another person who left and there was already another Model 3 who pulled up. So this seems to be uh, quite the busy location. Anyways, that sums up this video, this Nippin supercharger video. Um, yeah, not the best experience. It wasn't too far off the highway, but it was just long enough to, <laughs> to make it annoying. Um, it was easy to find once you're off the highway. That's no problem. But yeah, it seems to be pretty high usage, uh, pretty filthy, pretty dirty. Uh, and I mean, obviously, this is no fault of my own, but nothing was open when I pulled up. But uh, yeah, I just sat in my car and and uh, yeah, hopped on YouTube and whatnot. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.